welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is ayana and you want to go ahead press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you would not miss nt videos from me all right so let's go ahead and get into today's video all right y'all so you can tell from the title she trying something brand new i'm trying something brand new we trying something brand new today so today i will be trying out a scalp scrub for the very first time in my life so i actually started hearing about scalp scrubs i want to say a year and a half ago when a lot of people were you know trying it out i was a little skeptical at first i was not gonna do it i was not gonna try it because in my head, I was just like, well, would it be too rough for my scalp? Would it cause breakage at the roots? Like, something like that. Because we know, we try body scrubs on our body, and they be a little rough sometimes. Some of them be a little rough and a little scratchy. So that's what I was thinking with a scalp scrub. But one YouTuber on here, Kimberly Sherrill, I love her. I love her videos. I remember she made a video, I believe, last year about her scalp care routine. And there was another video she created that had scalp scrubs in it as well and then that's when I was like all right let me find out so she actually had this particular scalp scrub in her video that she created she actually had this particular scalp scrub in her video that she created about a year ago I believe it was this one and another one she had but she said this one is more sugar based if that makes sense I just wanted to try the sugar based one first because I want to see how I like it and if it's not that rough then I'll probably get the salt based scrubs but right now we're gonna stick to the sugar from her video I learned that there are two types of scrubs in this world there's a salt based scrubs which are a little more rough ish I don't want to say rough because it's for your scalp but it's a little more grid to the salt based scrubs rather than the sugar based scrubs the sugar is a lot more you know lighter if you ever try scrubs in general for your for your body or your face or your lips you understand that some scrubs are a little grittier than others this particular scrub is more of a sugar based scrub it's not that gritty so I really want to try this one out first just to see how I like it on my scalp so this particular one is called the perfect shine clarifying scalp scrub all right and before I get ready to shampoo my hair and put this scrub on before I get into that I wanted to mention some of the benefits of doing a scalp scrub because I had to do my research as well some of the benefits of a scalp scrub would be number one it will remove and exfoliate the dead skin off of your scalp the second benefit of a scalp scrub is that it will be able to remove dead skin cells from your scalp and also dirt you know impurities if you have build up on your scalp things of that nature as well a third thing that is beneficial doing a scalp scrub is that it promotes healthy hair growth and a healthy scalp and the last thing that is beneficial from a scalp scrub it can help prevent dry scalp dandruff things of that nature as well all right so that's enough of that rambling i'm about to go ahead and section off my hair so i can go ahead and shampoo and then once i shampoo my hair i'll be back to apply the scalp scrub for this particular scalp scrub your hair needs to be wet so this has to be applied before you condition your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead, shampoo my hair, and then I'll be back to apply this scalp scrub. All right, you guys, so I just got done shampooing my hair and my scalp. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and apply the scalp scrub to my scalp and see how that's gonna feel and all that good stuff. All right, so I already had my hair pre-sectioned off. You guys already know I wash my hair in twists and sections. So I just untwisted these two twists back here and I'm gonna start at the bottom all right so this is how the scrub looks again it's called the perfect shine clarifying scalp scrub color safe and paraben free it smells pretty good this is how it looks it's like a very sticky like consistency so you don't want to get this on the shaft of your hair because of the grittiness inside of the scrub it's going to be kind of hard to get out your hair so make sure you focus it on the scalp just filling this it does not have like a super like a lot of grid going to on with it and it says this um, particular scrub it foams yeah so i'm just taking like a small fingertip amount and putting it directly on my scalp and I'm gently just rubbing it in focusing at my roots definitely has some suds 
I'm glad it doesn't have like a whole lot of uh, crystals in it because I'll be extremely worried about trying to rinse that out. But from just filling it, I feel like this would be easy to rinse out and for it to dissolve in the water. So this is the first section. It smells really good too. I'm gonna go ahead and put this section back into a twist. All right, so I got my first section done. I'm gonna move on to the next section. All right, so I got this section right here to apply the scalp scrub. So I'm taking like literally just a fingertip amount, apply it directly to my scalp. And I'm gently just using the pads of my fingers to scrub it in now. I honestly thought that this would be a lot rougher on my scalp. Uh, so I'm happy that it's not like scratching my scalp. It doesn't really feel like any tingling or anything. It literally just feels like I'm putting shampoo on my scalp. There's different types of scalp scrubs as well. Like I mentioned, like salt based and then, you know, sugar. So the grains aren't as big. So they're a lot finer. But I definitely want to try the ones that have a lot more grid to it. Just to see how that feels on my scalp. All right, so after I get done working that in, to a point where I feel like it's covered that whole scalp area. I'm gonna go ahead and twist my section back up into my twist. All right, y'all, so that is the next section. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat these steps, just applying the scrub directly to my scalp, and then I'll be back once I have the scrub all throughout my scalp. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I just finished applying the scrub all throughout my scalp, and I think I did a really good job making sure the crystals itself dissolved into my scalp because I did not want to get it in my hair. I think it's going to dissolve pretty well, even if I did get some in my hair, but I made sure majority of these scrubs are focused on my scalp so I can easily rinse them out because I already shampooed the shaft of my hair. So I don't really, I don't really feel like a drastic difference right now. Just felt like I was putting like some shampoo on my scalp. It didn't really feel, I couldn't really feel the actual beads on my scalp. I more so felt the actual grittiness on my fingers rather than on my scalp like that. So um, I did give myself a good scalp massage while applying the scalp scrub, but I'm about to go ahead, head over to the sink and rinse it out and then I'll be back to tell you guys and talk to you guys about my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so I'm back from rinsing out that scalp scrub and this does strip, it strips, okay? So my, my scalp and the hair around my scalp feels like very squeaky clean. So I do need to add some moisture back to my hair ASAP. But this is how my scalp is looking, y'all. I don't really have a bad scalp to begin with, but it's not bad. Yet. And this um, specific scrub claims to add shine to the hair, but I don't know, probably over time, but I don't really have like really dull hair, so. Yes, y'all, so this is my scalp all clean. Um, I can tell from like the areas where I put this, this scrub around like my hairline, it does feel a little more smoother than it usually would. So I can tell that it did do some kind of exfoliating, probably not as aggressive as a rougher scrub would. Was not bad, like I said, it is a clarifying scrub, so your hair 
will feel stripped. So my hair does feel squeaky clean at the roots. So I know my scalp is uh, squeaky clean as well. So I'm about to go ahead, um, deep condition, detangle, all that good stuff, finish up my wash day. But this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below, have you ever tried a scalp scrub before? This is my very first time trying one out. I didn't use a whole lot, like, Y'all know I be heavy handed, okay? So I did not use a whole lot at all. So this probably will last me a few months. I probably would do this or incorporate this probably once a month in my uh, wash day routine just to exfoliate my scalp, rejuvenate it, get it more refreshed. So I probably would do it probably once a month and this little jar would last me a couple months. So I'm not mad about that. But let me know down below, have you ever tried a scalp scrub? What are your thoughts on it? How did it, how did your scalp react to the scalp scrub? Things of that nature. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions or if you have any suggestions, leave them down below as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music and i will see you guys in my next one my name is ayana lachey and i am the creator the owner and illustrator for ayana lachey illustrations i started ayana lachey illustrations back on october 25th 2019 i create my own illustrations for t-shirts sweatshirts uh, wall decor poster prints um, and more things to come when I expand my catalog. I'm not going to tell you yet, but it's a bunch more to come. I aim for my illustrations and my brand to empower, encourage, and inspire our Black community out here, y'all. We really need this. Some deals that I have on my shirts and products on my site right now is if you sign up for the newsletters, you will receive 10% off your first order. And also when you sign up for the newsletter, you'll be in the know about when I launch new products, when I launch um, new designs, what's new to come, early bird access to the new designs. Um, details on how I came up with a specific design or a specific collection and you'll also get some exclusive deals on the newsletter. So make sure you go check out my website and my brand at www.ayanalacheillustrations.com and I'll see you guys over there rocking your gear.